When we began creating our car, we had to brainstorm the theme. At first, we wanted to make a burrito car, but we realized the structure we had in mind wouldn't work out. We wanted to do a van instead, but couldn't decide on a theme, so we came up with the Combo Mobile. We chose this design because we would all get the chance to incorporate our creative ideas into the theme. Now that we had decided on the theme, it was time to start building and brainstorming. We started to draft the possible measurements. We originally wanted to use cardboard, but we decided that the material was way too heavy. So we took poster material and used the same measurements we originally planned on. We started connecting the gears, wheels, axles, and motor to the base of the car. We also had to solder the battery pack wires to the clamps. Once we had connected all the central components, we tested the car. The car ran effectively using a battery pack. Now it was time to attach the solar panel and test the car with the weight. So we started working on the body of the car. We attached the roof and hood of the van and reinforced the support. Once the car was stable enough, we attached the solar panel to the top of the roof. When the sun shines onto a solar panel, energy from the sunlight is absorbed by the PV cells in the panel. This energy creates electrical charges that move in response to an internal electrical field in the cell, causing electricity to flow. We tested the car again, and this time the gears were out of place. However, once we aligned them, the car ran decently, but slowed down quite a bit. To help speed up the car, we changed the gear ratio. We also moved the placement of the motor and hot glued it to the base. We velcroed the solar panel to the roof of the car as well. Once we changed the gear ratio, the car ran much faster. We included the hooks for the fishing line, but when we tested it out, our car slowed down and veered due to too much friction. 